it is almost time for us to now start claiming our pause airdrop and currently we are required to go and reconnect our wallet addresses so i'm going to show you in this video how to go about it one thing you need to know is that you need to ignore if your wallet is connected before just as you can see on my screen here if i click on this wallet section you can see my tone wallet is connected my solana or my phantom wallet is connected but that is not necessary we need to connect it on the website look at this visit website button that is the important one if you are going to be claiming your airdrop so in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can swiftly do that and to bypass the phantom issue because some people are having issues while trying to connect their phantom wallet so i'm going to also show you how to go through with that once you go to this page once you click on the visit website you are going to get to this page here now if i should click on this toggle menu or this hamburger menu at the top left of my screen you can see there is now a claim button that appears on that page and just as you can see the claim is not available yet they say it is coming soon so i simply click on got it and then i'll head back to the main page where i am required to now do my wallet connection so if i toggle that button down you can see i am required to connect my tone wallet and to also connect my phantom wallet so i simply connect my tone wallet i already create a special wallet which i am connecting for this pause on my tone keeper already if you don't have tone keeper simply download it on your play store it's pretty easy and straightforward and the connection for this one is easy you should not waste your time so once you've connected you're going to see your wallet address is going to be displayed boldly in that section and we now have to connect our phantom wallet so once this phantom logo comes out you click on it if you have a phantom wallet already you are picking this first option but if you do not have a phantom wallet you simply go to your play store or your app store you download the phantom wallet and then you set up an account on it once you've done that you simply open up you click that it's going to redirect you automatically into your phantom wallet so because it is misbehaving now normally it's supposed to display a connection button on this page but as you can see nothing is displaying so i'll simply head back into my telegram once again and i'll click on that connect phantom wallet after clicking on it it's redirecting me the second time again into my phantom wallet and this time around i think the button should display so here is it on my screen here this is the connection button and all i simply have to do is to click on this connect after clicking on connect it will redirect me back into my telegram automatically and then show me whether the wallet is connected successfully or not and i doubt if it's going to be connecting yes because this thing still have issues so i'm going to show you an alternative way of connecting it correctly but i doubt if this method is going to work anyway let's try it out so as you can see it is back on this page and all i simply have to do is to click on this verify yourself once that is done i'll head back into my telegram and here is my page here so let's wait for let's wait for it to get loaded so as you can see they say my account is verified and i have the option of staying in telegram or i continue the website so i'm going to be continuing in the website and let me see if my wallet has been connected successfully so as you can see this is the page here and if i click on that toggle button you can see it is still telling me connect solana wallet that means my wallet address is not connected successfully and hence i am now going to show you the alternative way of doing the connection now the first thing you want to do is you're already in your telegram so you head back from this page and i'll be needing to use my settings button inside my telegram so you go to that hamburger from this list i'll select my settings button here after selecting the settings from the menu that opens you are going to your chat settings i is even the first option here so you simply click on the chat settings and this time around you are scrolling up so i'm going to look for where to disable um, the in-app browser because there is telegram has its own in-app browser so i'm going to go here and disable it look at note once you are done with this step you will still come back here and enable it again but for now disable it once you disable it i'll now head back into my list of airdrops and then i'm looking for pause right now once you see it you click to open again and you head back to that connection page to now do the connection this time around and so once work. on this page you simply click on the visit our website button once again and on the page of course your tone wallet should be connected that one is not an issue what we have issue with is your phantom wallet so once the page opens up you simply 
toggle that button down once again so you can see now you select your connect phantom wallet or solana wallet then you select your phantom wallet click on this connect phantom because i have phantom wallet installed on my phone already so this time around it should work swiftly so i'm waiting for my phantom to open up on this page you can now see the connect button so after clicking on it this time around it should show me something like a sign in because if you want to connect uh, any decentralized exchange you need to approve a contract that is a sign in contract so you can see this is it on my screen here last step to connect sign message so you simply have to do is to click on the sign message button and after clicking on it it will direct you into your phantom wallet once again to approve the the contract there and all you simply have to do is to click on confirm once that is done you get redirected to this page and toggle this down right now it is no longer showing a red light there initially when the connection didn't go through it was showing a red light but now you can see my wallet has now been connected successfully and that is basically how to do it if you enjoyed this video make sure you are subscribed to this channel turn on the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload a video and with the link in the description box of this video do well to join my telegram channel for more updates like this if you still have any questions or issues after watching this video the comment section is friendly drop them there i'll be with you to respond now just to be sure that the connection is done successfully i am going to check it once again so this time around i'll enter into my pause wallet once again and you can see this visit our website button i'll click on it because this is all just to be sure that the connection is properly done so once the page opens up you look at your screen and yes i think this one work because if you can look at the toggle button it is no longer showing red light so as i go down you can see my two addresses are now connected my tongue wallet address and my phantom wallet and that is a simple way to go about it so using this claim button once again i go to claim and as you can see the claim is not yet available so when it's available probably i might still be making another video to show you guys how you can go about it just stay tuned and stay updated